Okay, so okay, so so how do you explain this then? This word. Well, your God. How can it be? You know, my God, for example, someone else's God, you know, Hashem. Why not? Because you believe that you have to be Jewish, right? Right. Right. So I have to do. Yeah. Yeah. So we believe that God is God of all people. He's the God of Israel, but He's the God of all people, and we believe. Right. I believe we, that God is also your God. Yeah. But I believe that He chose me for a special. Um, uh, special goal. I have a special. Goal. Special path. Special path, maybe. Yeah, I have a special duty, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure how to say it, but it's a duty. Yeah. But you, he's also your God. Yeah. This, the same God. Yeah. So I believe your your belief system, that's my belief, is incomplete because you're missing the point, yeah, of Jesus Christ as being God coming into but the flesh. I don't believe in Jesus. You don't believe in Jesus, but the Bible talks about Jesus. There are many prophecies. And like I said to you, the prophets, they met Jesus. Where did the Bible talk about Jesus? Sorry? Where did the Bible talk about Jesus? Where does the Bible talk about Jesus? Well, it talks about it in Isaiah 53. It talks about, about, it, about Jesus Christ. Can, can you hold next to them? No. No. Because I'll be moving around. They're going to take for a long time. Uh, that's what I ask you. If you can show me in your Bible, we can compare what it says. In fact, sir, do you speak English, sir? Do you? No, because... I'm going to show you. It's enough. I'm going to, I don't want to, can you show them this verse? I want to show you one verse and then I'll let you go because it shows that, um, and maybe translate to your father, please. I, I want him to understand. You, can you, you believe in Isaiah. Isaiah, you see one of your books, Isaiah. To be there tonight. Tonight. What's that? The Ketuvim? Okay, yeah, so this is from the Ketuvim. Listen, our Bible and yours is different. It's not completely different, but there are changes in your Bible. This, this Bible was written by Jews. It was written by, so it's about 52 Hebrew scholars wrote this Bible. What? 52 Hebrew scholars wrote this Bible. This comes from the Septuagint. Because Jews in the first century they didn't just speak Hebrew, they spoke Greek as well. Okay, so. Um, this yeah. is a Jewish Bible. Yes, it's the Jewish Bible. What, what we mean by Jewish, of course, is that the earliest apostles were Jews. What? The earliest apostles were Jews. Jesus Christ himself was a Jew. And the apostles right. he established but were Jews. As I see Jesus, uh, I see him as a traitor. Say them. I see Jesus as a traitor. I know that's the typical Orthodox Jewish view, but what, what Jesus sees... Not sees, a traitor. I think he, he Do you know Jesus? Wrong. Do you know Jesus? Have you read the Bible? What? Have you read his words, the Bible? Yeah. Well, he tells you in, in John 5, right? If you believe in Moses, why don't you believe in what he said? Yeah. Moses said a prophet would come after him that would know God like him. That's Deuteronomy 18. I, I just want to read this out to you because I, I know you've got somewhere to go. So I'm, I'm not going to... Okay, so it's Isaiah 48, uh, verses 12 to 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, verses 12 to 16. So we read from 12 ones. Yeah. Hearken unto, so this is 12, all the way to 16. Listen unto me, so hearken means listen. This is old. Can this you is let a, me read it? Do you want to read it yourself? Yeah, wait. Okay. Where is from here? You're going to read all the way from here to here. So that, that should be verse 12, and then you should see 16 up there. And, if, and what I want you to do is, if, if you know Hebrew, read it in the Hebrew as well. I want to ask you a question. Is that is that God speaking? I don't understand it. Okay, so let me because it's, it's old English. Okay, so let me explain to you. So God says this for my own sake. So it says it. Listen to me, O Jacob and Israel, my call. I am he, I am the far first, and I'm also the last. My hands have laid the foundation of the earth. 
So who's this speaking? Who is speaking here? It's Carl speaking, but I'm not, I don't know where say, he's Wait, wait, just say, say that again so I can hear you. It's a bit loud. It's not, it's not uh, in the Bible. So that's why we're supposed to do a Hebrew translation. I don't know where it's written. Do you, do, you have, do you have a Hebrew translation on your phone? A Hebrew translation? Okay. Can you go to Isaiah on your phone? No, no, I don't have it. You don't have it? No. Um, because you're saying this is a okay, okay. okay. So under the law, under my law, no. Okay, so I would suggest when you when you go home, look up Isaiah 48, verses 12 to 16. Look up Isaiah 48, 12 to 16. The care to him. Yes. So you want to go to Isaiah 48, verses 12 to 16. Yeah. Isaiah. 48, 12 to 16. When you look at it, you will see that God is speaking and God says he will send us. Maybe it's written in here, not in my Bible. Anyway. Again, the Jews reject the Lord of glory, but the truth is in Christ. That's, that's all we got to say. I don't believe in terms of No, that's fine, but uh, in the forbidden city, you can see that the Jews are not believing in the Bible. That's why they don't believe in the Bible. So that's why they don't believe in the Bible. So that's why you must be born again. You, you need to receive the Holy Spirit and you need to be born again. Otherwise, you will not see heaven. For everybody, for everybody, your religion will not save you. You need a new spirit. So does your father and your relatives. We, we are in a new covenant and the, 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 your brothers lied to you, they, they lied to you, the Judaism of today is a new religion, is a new religion that's not what Jesus taught. Salvation is for everyone. The Old Testament doesn't have hell and heaven because it's missing information. You need to be born again or you will perish, even as a Jewish person. There is no salvation. Where do you go after you die? There is no heaven and hell because the Bible is missing information. צריך ללמוד את התנאי.